Okay then, let's have a look back where we were before. Previously we created a random number generator where every time we hit refresh, refresh the page it gave us a number between 1 and 500. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to use that randomly generated number to select a set of cipher keys. And to start with we're just going to use a simple if statement. Okay, so it's a single if statement. If I, if I just show you uh, what that involves, let's make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so in this one we've got an if statement, and the if statement is looking at cell I4, and it's going to say if I4 is less than 250, return the value A, otherwise return the value B. Okay, and if I hit, I can see that it's refreshing the number and giving us the corresponding set of values. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of step up a bit and we're going to put a nested if statement. Okay, so I'm going to select this time um, cipher A all the way through to E. Oh, if I could spell cipher. Okay, uh, so this time, just as before, we've got to hit put the equal sign in and we have to put our first if statement and our first logical test is going to be if the cell is less than 100 and if it is it's going to return an A uh, and then we put our comma in to separate it again and we're going to put in another if statement bracket again the same cell value this time if it's less than 200 we're going to return a B separate it again put in another if another bracket look at the cell again and this time it's going to be less than 300 and if it is it's going to return C as a value separate it with a comma again another if statement and we're going to see if it's less than 400 and if it is it's going to return a D and then finally because we've covered all the options if it's none of those it's going to return an E and the important thing now is we get the right number of brackets. So I've got one, two, three, four. Okay, so I've, and hopefully, um, what we'll see now is every time I hit F9 and I refresh it, it'll return the corresponding value. And we'll just take, let's just look at that formula once more. Let's stretch it out and uh, make it a bit bigger so we can have a look. Okay, so what we had in here, we had an if statement within an if. So we call this. Uh, a nested if statement. Okay, so it's an if within an if, and every time it returns a different value.